Please, what do you want for Christmas? It's Stephen Tomkinson. He's here! Dreams, dreams do come true. true. How are you, Stephen? <laughs> very well, thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy Lovely to birthday. see you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Of course, we all know uh, that Stephen is here and he's played all sorts of characters from Chief We're going Inspectors. through your professions, weren't we? You've been a priest. Yeah. Uh, Ballycus Angel, of course. Mm -hmm. Journalist, dropped at a donkey. Yeah. Footballer. Footballer in the manager ass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Builder in grafters. Builder in grafters. Vet. Um, Vain Wild Hearts. Brassed off as well. Yeah, minor. Minor, minor and brassed off. A minor and child's entertainer. Yeah. And then and then and then now it's a car salesman. Now it's a second hand car salesman. In the in the in oh. the new film. In Hector. Hector. Yeah. Goodness me. Is there any left to tick? Oh, there must be. Well, a policeman, of course. Oh, yeah, policeman, yes, dear. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. going to talk about that in a few moments. But also on top of that. On top of that, in real life, in real life he's only just become a doctor. Like, like Ramveer. Uh, Ramveer has as well it's this crazy. week. <laughs> But I, 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 you wait, it's, they're, like, they're like buses, you wait for one to come along and then two come along at the same time. Yeah. Oh, did, wow. the, did the two of you go to the same website? <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> it was very cheap. What, what, so, so explain, how did this come about? Teesside and my lovely friends at Teesside University decided uh, that I should be a, a, an honorary doctor of art. How wow. nice. so and, and what did you have to do? I uh, went up to uh, Middlesbrough Town Hall, it was on their graduation day, and gave a, gave a speech, and an encouraging speech to, uh, to all the graduates. So it's now to Tomkinson. Dr. Tomkin. I won't insist on it. <laughs> <laughs> but can you change your passport? Can you put your passport on your credit card? I don't thing? know. Possibly. You know, you know when you check in, often yeah. the check-in desks, and they'll say, oh, it's doctor, often they'll, they'll upgrade you. Upgrade it. It's worth thinking about. It's Do worth it. trying. Do worth it. It's about. just a postage stamp, isn't it? And a <laughs> filling in of the form. Um, can we have a little look at Hector as well, and you and Hector? Let's it's a, see. It's a fascinating film. You uh, your character in this film, Hector is the main character, played by the, just the wonderful Peter Munn. Now, your character thinks that he's dead, and he's died a long time yeah. ago. Is that right? Yeah, Hector disappeared off the face of the earth sort of 15 years ago but has decided he wants to get back in touch with his sister that I'm I'm married to I'm his brother in law yeah. and of course I'm I'm none too pleased no. to see him it's a, the, the relationship between Hector and his his sort of estranged family of which you are sort of a brother in law mm -hmm. It's fascinating as he's sort of picking up the pieces and trying to track them down because yeah. clearly something's happened in his life many years ago, yes. which we eventually find out at the end of the film. And, and he's kind of on a journey trying to get back together with them and get to London for Christmas. Exactly, and uh, and comes to uh, the, sh the same shelter every Christmas, which is it's a, it's a surprisingly sort of heartwarming tale. I think you could look at it at first glance as as one can often do with the homeless and think, well, you're probably there. It's your own fault. You've either had a drink problem or mm. a drugs problem, and mm. it just takes a little bit more time to listen to somebody's story and it can just be that that life can be cruel sometimes mm, mm. and if you take a little bit more time and, and a little bit more understanding and it's it's sort of the perfect time of year for the film to come out as well because we do we do tend to think a bit more about yeah, it we well the writers didn't they base it on the work of volunteers in yeah, Jake, and the stories that Jake they Gavin who's a first time writer director mm. uh, he was uh, uh, a photo journalist and then uh, he used to do stills photography on film sets and used to help out in shelters yeah. around Christmas and through meeting people and listening to their stories was inspired to write the film. Fabulous. And I, I th it's riveting and it is a gripping film yeah. and, and your, your, the cast is great but the lead character Peter who plays... Peter, Peter Mullen is a, a fantastic... Uh, he must be on most actors to do list you yeah, know to, to work, work with well, and he's he's just wonderful yeah. uh, now I think people have seen you most recently of course in DCI Banks are we, we going to see more of that Dun, da, da, da. DCI Banks is back <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> really? so what will that be, be back, series, be back five, in the new series? series five yeah series in, the, five. in the new year it's a, the, the relationship between Hector and his his sort of estranged family of which you are sort of a brother-in-law mm -hmm. It's fascinating as he's sort of picking up the pieces and trying to track them down because yeah. clearly something's happened in his life many years ago, yes. which we eventually find out at the end of the film, and, and he's kind of on a journey trying to get back together with them and get to London for Christmas. Exactly, and uh, and comes to uh, the, sh the same shelter every Christmas, which is... It's a, it's a surprisingly sort of heartwarming tale. I think you could look at it at first glance, as, as one can often do with the homeless, and think, well, you're probably there, it's your own fault, you've either had a drink problem or mm. a drugs problem, and mm. it just takes a little bit more time to listen to somebody's story and it can just be that that life can be cruel sometimes mm, mm. and if you take a little bit more time and, and a little bit more understanding and it's it's sort of the perfect time of year for the film to come out as well because we do we do tend to think a bit more about yeah, it well the writers didn't they base it on the work of volunteers in yeah, Jake, and the stories that Jake they Gavin, saw there. who's a first time writer director mm. uh, he was uh, 
uh, a photo journalist and then uh, he used to do stills photography on film sets and used to help out in shelters yeah. around Christmas and through meeting people and listening to their stories was inspired to write the film. It's fabulous. I, I th it's riveting and it is a gripping film yeah. and, and your, your, the cast is great but the lead character Peter who plays... Peter, Peter Mullen is a fantastic, uh, he must be on most actors to-do list you yeah, know, to, to work, work with wow. and he's, he's just wonderful. Yeah.